All right, this is going to be video number three. This one's probably going to be the longest. I'm going to show you how to put in a hallway, a TV, beginning of a TV, and a rug on the floor with stripes. And so video number two, we just finished our pillows, and now we're ready to move on to adding a doorway, like a little entryway to our room. And we're going to do that by drawing a vertical line that goes from the floor straight up. We don't want to quite go all the way to the ceiling. I want to go what would appear to be about a foot away from the ceiling. If you look around um, at your house, you should see that the door, there's about a foot of space from the door frame to the ceiling. Okay, and draw that in. And now we want to take the top of that line and draw it to our vanishing point. Okay, because this part of the doorway is going away from us. So in order to show that it's going away from us, it's got to go to that dot. Just like that. And then we want to imagine um, about how long, about how wide do we want that doorway. We don't want it too wide. So you can see I made it a little bit darker right here. Um, and that's where we're going to stop the doorway opening. And we're going to draw a vertical line from the top of that door opening down to the floor. Okay, and then you need to erase, erase the extra that you don't need. And then the next step would be to show how the doorway, um, the frame, so right now this could be a door, right? You could put a little doorknob on it, and now it's a door. It's, it's closed. Um, but I like to make it look like an entryway and gives it more depth. So we're going to do that by looking for, let me go back a second. Um, so right now if we look for obtuse angles, that's going to let us know where to put in a horizontal line. So we need to figure out where can, which corner of the doorway can we put a horizontal line that would show inside through the doorway. So we can't put a horizontal line here, that would be outside the doorway. We can put a horizontal line here, which means this is an obtuse angle. Okay, so we're going to put our first horizontal line perfectly straight across um, right here. And then we also have an obtuse angle down here, which would also allow us to put in another horizontal line to show the floor. So now we've got a floor and we've got a ceiling in our entryway. All right, and then if I go forward, I'm not sure where that line is. Oh, I forgot to, forgot to do something somewhere. Oh, well. Okay, so then we're going to erase the floor. We're going to erase the bottom of the wall to show that it is an um, open, continuous space, so it turns a corner. All right, so now we want to move on to how to create um, a TV, like a flat screen TV. And we're going to start by um, drawing a very skinny rectangle that is parallel to our doorway. Okay, so they don't touch. Very skinny and slim. And now we want to take the two corners closest to the vanishing point and draw lines to the vanishing point. So this one, bottom one was already in. I messed up on the animation somewhere. All right, so next step is to figure out how long we want that TV to be. We want the TV to end before the back wall. We're going to put in a vertical line, straight up and down. So like sides are parallel, right? These two, these two lines are parallel. This line is also parallel. These are all like sides. Okay, and then we're going to erase all the extra that we don't need. And then what you could actually do is you could go in here and put another frame. And then that would allow you to make a TV. You could also put little buttons over here on the side or across the front. If you're going to put buttons on the front, they do have to line up with your vanishing point. All right, last thing we're going to put in is a rug. And we're going to start with a horizontal line that is going to be below the bed and it's going to go under the bed and across the floor past the vanishing point. Okay, we're going to put it right there. Then we're going to line up on um, the ends. So we want to show that this rug is laying on the floor. And so in order to do that, we need to show that the top of the rug is going away from us. And if it's going away from us, it's going to line up with that vanishing point. Okay, so we're going to start by lining up the end of our rug, the end of that horizontal line with the vanishing point. Then we're going to do that on the other side as well. 
actually, you know what, we're going to, um, I forgot. You're going to figure out how long is your rug. You want your rug to end before the bed. And so it's hard to see, but there's um, this line is going to end about right here where this dot is. And then you can erase all the extra, the extra line. You don't need it. Okay, so that's going to indicate the end of our rug that was going all the way to our vanishing point. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I want to draw this line very lightly because we do need this line because we're going to need to know where the rug ends in a minute um, because we're going to want to know where the middle of the rug is and then to help us divide it up into our stripes. So we actually do want to draw this whole line in uh, very, very lightly. But right here, the part that is sticking out from under the bed, we can go ahead and make that solid. Okay. Next step is to extend our horizontal line right here so we can figure out where if the bed was not there where would the rug where would the corner of the rug end and this is going to allow us to put in the X from corner to corner just like we did on top of the bed to help figure out where to put our pillows same thing for the rug X from corner to corner is going to allow us to find the middle and now we're going to draw a line through the middle to the vanishing point because remember the rug is going away from us Okay, that vanishing point is very important. Anything that goes away goes to the vanishing point. Alright, and then we need to stop that line right here. Wherever the rug ends, that's where we want this line to end. Okay, so we can either erase the extra or only draw what we need. And then we can go ahead and erase that X. and then we're going to put in our stripes. So when I look at this, um, I could very easily imagine this being divided into three equal parts. Okay, And then this being divided into three equal parts or four equal parts, it's up to you. Um, or you could divide it in half. Okay, um, So I'm going to, these are going to the vanishing point, right? These stripes are going away from us and if I were to extend them, extend them all the way out, you would see it does go to the vanishing point. And we're going to do that all the way across, each one slightly rotating more and more to go to the vanishing point. And here is um, our basic room.